Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Summers Bison. Welcome back. Today, we're on a little family field trip, a little fun day. We're going to Enid, Oklahoma to grow the herd. The herd's gonna get a lot bigger today, isn't it, Brooks? When I say a lot bigger, I cannot wait to show you guys what I mean by that. When I say bigger, it's, it's big. <laughs> Brooks? You gonna get some more of these? Huh? He ready to go? Okay, so we are on the way to Enid. Got the family with, got the wife, and we got baby Brooks. And so we're traveling to pick up some bison. I had a guy contact me, really nice guy. He's got a big farm up here in Carrier, Oklahoma, actually. He reached out to me, came across on YouTube, and uh, he reached out to me and we talked and he said he's got some bison that he uh, wanted to sell to me. And so uh, my wife and I and Brooks, we loaded up and we went to Enid and we went to see him, checked him out and uh, hung out with him and his wife and had a good visit. And so we're back uh, about three weeks later and the herd grows quickly. And uh, it's just one of the situations that uh, we had offered to us and that we thought was a good opportunity. Uh, I know I've always said that uh, we don't need another bull, uh, but we've, we're gonna make some adjustments uh, to the farm. We're gonna have to build some more fence and we are uh, gonna bring another bull home. So really excited about this bull. One thing that I really like about these people, or these bison, is because of the people, the people that have raised them, this older couple, they, uh, they've they treated them just like I have. Uh, a lot of hands-on with these bison, feeding them cubes out of their hand, feeding them supplement feed when they need to. So they're very used to humans, which is very good for us. If, if these bison came out of a huge ranch or a big park on thousands of acres, it wouldn't work because they would be a little bit crazy. So having them people there, hand feeding them up close and personal helps us a ton. That's the only reason that we're doing this. Plus, they're really nice bison. Can't wait for you to see this bull. Dunbar has got some competition. He's not gonna be very happy, but we're not gonna have to worry about uh, the competition necessarily because we can't put them in the same pen together, which is what I've always said not to do if you've got you know only a dozen or so females or a small herd don't put two bulls together because they'll tear your fence up well we've got some work to do but we're going to create basically two herds which is what i'm excited about um, so we'll have two bulls and basically two herds we still got a lot of work to do and we've got a lot of thinking ahead of us but taking advantage of a good opportunity um, working with some really good people to get some good bison
Ah, Big Joe's loaded. Took us about an hour and a half to get him to turn around and go forward. He's not wanting to leave Carrier, Oklahoma, but he's in there. He's got some space now. We're gonna put the two cows here in the back. Now, Doug put them in this trailer here. Get them ready. So when I got here, now I've got him in the front. Give him some space and some room. Put the two cows in the back and we'll be set. Time to go home. Hey, big boy. All right, we're about to hit I-35 and head home with these bison. So excited to get them back on the ground and I know that they're excited to get back on the ground as well. They're tired of being worked and being in a trailer. Look at that sucker right there, guys. Look at him, he is a beast. He was pretty calm today and he worked well. It took a long time to just get him turned around. He did not want to turn around at all. He wanted to stay home where he's been forever. These bison have been in the trailer maybe once, ever. Thank you guys for watching. To be continued when we get home to Sulphur to the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch. We appreciate you following us. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. We got a lot of fun stuff happening at the farm. Sale is coming up. Taking our two yearling bulls to Perkins, Oklahoma and going to sell our first two bison there at the sale November 14th. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned when we bring these bison to their new home. You guys meet Big Joe. Who says bison can't be in the big city? Hey, big guy. So Bison's first time to the big Oklahoma City. In case you guys are wondering what this is, the guy who I bought the Bison from also gave me this panel to use as a pusher. And someday we'll be able to use this. They used it in West Texas. They put it on the front of a tractor and uh, pushed the Bison when you're working. Worked great.